Let's say we are measuring the brightness of a star, brightness, over and over again as a function of time, and we find that it goes something like down a bit, and then some long time later goes down a bit again, and keeps doing that. That's the sign of a planet passing in front of it, so how can we work out what the properties of the planet are? Well, the first thing is we know the normal brightness, B, and we can measure the change in brightness, which is delta B. If we know the radius of the star, that tells us that the radius of the planet is going to be equal to the radius of the star times the square root of delta B over B. So that tells us the radius of the planet. The other thing we can learn is from the period, which is say from the start of one transit to the start of the next, or equivalently from the, the end of one transcript to the end of the next. So if we know the period P, we can use the same equation we've seen many times before, which is the, the radius of the planet's orbit. This is how far the planet is from the star, is given by the cube root of g hem star p squared over 4 pi squared. So from that, we have got the star and the planet. This tells us how far they are apart. And this tells us the size of the planet. And that's by and large is all we can learn from a transit.